Hey, Pop Culture Hero here with a vlog here on August 18th, 2010. Um, went to Toys R Us, got Masterpiece Grimlock. Awesome. So he's got. It's an interesting box. Um, they said that they would put him in a box to make his. so that they could put him in dinosaur mode rather than robot mode at BotCon. And really, it does. It, it looks great succeeds by putting him in a triangular box. I'm not sure how well that works for shelf space anyway, just to, because you're wasting this much shelf space no matter how you um, try to cut it down the slant, but you know it's because of his tail, you see. Dinosaur mode. But the, you know, it, it definitely catches your eye having a giant robot T-Rex at Toys R Us. And he comes with this crown so that he can be have, see, here's his art on the side of the box, so he can have his Marvel Comics appearances. And you can change his eyes between red or blue uh, for, you know, if he's angry or um, angry or neutral, or if he's Marvel Comics versus uh, Sunbow cartoon. Okay. I also got some G.I. Joes. We got Quick Kick, Toys R Us exclusive. I did not find Spirit Iron Knife. His, um, yeah, they are Toys R Us exclusive. He's got all kinds of neat homages in him. Uh, obviously, Quick Kick was inspired by Bruce Lee uh, for some of the um, Season 2 G.I. Joe guys back in back in the 80s. And, um, and he's got the... Um, what is that? The Kung Fu Grip Pow Punch thing. He's got that on his. Um, he's got that on his uh, jacket there, which is nice because the old Quick Kick. Um, well, I would say that he was pretty bare for uh, clothing, and this helps him look more like his Hollywood action star version. Uh, the other one was, and he's got these. Apparently, he's got some scars under there. That's kind of like Bruce Lee a little bit. Uh, you can kind of see that in the character art if you when you see it in person. Um, yeah, so you got some original art here. Um, this is the new G.I. Joe Pursuit of Cobra card, by the way. Getting away from the movie line, getting closer to some 25th anniversary stuff again. Uh, so there's Quick Kick, and he's got he's got some boxing gloves and uh, more 25th anniversary like stand. Um, a different kind of sword than the one that was in the previous box set with um, Quick Kick and a little gun. Alright. Uh, so here's something a little bit more mainline. I got Firefly with his alternate heads and titanium battle armor and battle armor wrist guards and stuff. Uh, I don't know. I'm a big fan of Firefly anyway, so... He's probably my favorite Cobra, dude. And he's also was voiced by Greg Berger in the original, in both of the original series. So, Dino uh, Grimlock and Firefly were was both voiced by the same guy. And they're really awesome characters. Really, if you think about it, Firefly is probably the most competent of all of um, Cobra's original um, characters. I don't want to go on a rant about how much I like Firefly, but he's really cool. He got the job done. Beachhead. You know, he's cool. He's got a lot of guns. A lot of guns in this neat Beachhead. And it tends to remind a lot of people of Metal Gear Solid, um, just from the, the way they've designed this figure. Uh, with all the pad, with all the G.I. Joe Resolute like pads and stuff. Uh, man, it's nice. It's subdued, it's neutral. City Strike dioramas on the back, um, character art on the front. Arctic Threat Snow Job, who um, is a sort of a carryover from what we thought was going to be a Toys R Us exclusive, but here it is in the main line. I don't remember if this was supposed to be part of... It was always supposed to be Pursuit of Cobra, but Pursuit of Cobra seems to have changed focuses, 
between when they were going to release it earlier in the year and when it's they're releasing it now here in the fall. Earlier in the year they wanted to make it a G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra connection more than a uh, 25th anniversary um, more like the rather than more like the modern era um, classic Sunbow or um, Marvel Comics guys. Then we have um, Snake Eyes who I'm surprised is actually from the Desert Battle series. I thought for sure he was from the Arctic series but um, yeah he's in the Desert Battle so that'll go great with Desert Battle uh, Storm Shadow whenever I pick him up. Um, I didn't pick him up today because I didn't like how the pupils were on Storm Shadow yet, but I'll find one that's good and then I'll pick it up. I like this one because of the visor, and um, I'm starting to like Timber. Timber is not too bad here. He's his wolf can, wolf ally. And all of these have the Hub World stickers for the Hub starting October 10th on cable television. And finally, the Alley Viper. Uh, so it's a nice single carded Alley Viper. It's a, I don't know. It, it works partially. The bright orange is more traditional, and this is supposed to be like he's guarding a warehouse for Cobra, um, fighting Beachhead as his rifle. So, a bunch of these guys. You're supposed to have an army of them, but I, I'm not really that into this Alley Viper design so much. Uh, but, you know, there's lots of helmets so you can customize them. I got it, so I can finally play around with my Alley Viper, rather than leaving it in the box. Okay, and the one vehicle I picked up was this one, uh, the Wolfhound, or as you may know it from the Sunbow cartoon, which where it was used prominently, it was even used in G.I. Joe the movie, um, the Sunbow movie. Snowcat, but here it is the Wolfhound, and it is, and it comes with the G.I. Joe down here in the um, tinted cockpit with windshield wiper, missile launchers. The missile launchers do fire in uh, quick succession. The box even makes a point of it. Four missiles, rapid fire cool. It's just a little slider bar. It runs across the springs. It's cool and it does rotate and elevate. That used to be a feature of G.I. Joe um, vintage. And why you would pick this up over a vintage one is partially for this cool camo effect but also because um, the foot pegs don't are have been retooled and that's probably why it's taken so long to finally get a snow cat is because Hasbro would have had to not only needed the retailer shelf space for Bravo class vehicles, whereas um, in the 25th anniversary line they only really had really had a price point for like Alpha smaller vehicles. Uh, Rise of Cobra really opened it up so that retailers would accept um, these larger scale vehicles at the 24.99 price point. But you know, you, you do get standing room for eight Joes with these uh, foot pegs here, now being in the smaller um, 25th anniversary modern era. Um, I don't even know how I should say it. Modern era is the, just the thing that makes more sense. The non O ring figures with the small foot pegs. All these foot pegs are here. Good. And presumably, I can take this off and store stuff inside but so you got eight foot pegs and you got two driver ports up here windshield wipers nice obviously we'll found and you get white out the GI Joe driver who has the new GI Joe logo on his sleeve it's sort of a um, just a star with action lines rather than the eagle All right, this wraps it up. I'm Pop Culture Hero. Thanks for watching.